not long ago, it was a COVID treatment that showed promise. Now something called monoclonal antibody infusion is proving to be a godsend. News 8 Steve Fiorina tells us there are some hoops to jump through, but they're worth it. Thousands of San Diegans who have shown positive signs of COVID have been given monoclonal antibody infusion treatment, and it's worked well. Former President Trump was one of the first given the experimental treatments last year. It's now helping huge numbers of Americans. Monoclonal antibody therapy is very effective for high-risk patients and prevents progression of disease and decreases the risk for hospitalization and death. Who is considered high risk? Patients who are high risk are those who are over 65, obese, immunocompromised, or have another underlying health condition, such as cardiovascular disease. Concerns have been voiced over whether someone's been vaccinated. Monoclonal antibodies are available to any high-risk patient, regardless of their vaccination status. So anybody who tests positive and is within the first few days of symptoms should be evaluated. Worries, too, about the treatment changing a person's vaccination status or leading to a positive test for COVID. The answer to both of those is, is no. Um, this, the, it's an antibody, does not contain any of the virus or virus particles. Early this year, some suffering from COVID found it difficult to get the treatment. Now it's readily available. Outpatients with mild to moderate symptoms within 10 days of the onset of those symptoms. One hour of infusion followed by one hour of observation. So we don't have a waiting list per se, but we do have a institutionally approved uh, system for assessing and uh, ranking patients according to their risk status. If you get sick, don't delay. Once somebody is ill enough to require hospitalization or needs supplemental oxygen, they're no longer eligible for monoclonal antibody therapy, but there are other therapies available for hospitalized patients, such as remdesivir um, or steroids, for example. UCSD only administers the infusions here at the Hillcrest facility, but there are many other hospitals and medical centers across San Diego where you can get yours. Steve Fiorina, News 8.